Okay, and now we have the uh, the Wii version of the of the Supersonic fight, and um, this. Yep. I just let Chip finish. Okay. Um. So basically, this uh, this fight is uh, the mo pretty similar to Alf Layla or Layla from Secret Rings, where he does a lot of those like similar swipes across the screen that you need to avoid. And um, what you're doing here is um, you need to just aim for all of his eyes. Every every time you do a boost into his eye, it takes off ten rings from you. So you do need to be careful of that. But regardless regardless of that, this is a pretty good boss. Um, it's a uh, it's very debatable whether or not this or the HD version part of this fight is better. Um, I'm kind of torn. I mostly want to say the HD version has the better, better supersonic part, um, but I do like that this feels more like a direct fight with Dark Gaia. Um, so the HD version needs to get rid of a shield and whatnot, and the chip is the one that's more directly fighting uh, Dark Gaia. Um, so there is that, but the fact that this is a lot a lot like Alpha Layla War Layla makes this... I mean, it, it's perfectly serviceable, like, it's a good fight. But it also makes it so this boss doesn't really have much of its own identity. Um, and, uh... Like, a lot of these... Not the same... These aren't, like, the same attacks or anything, but... It's, again, very similar. With how, like, you see the lines of the attacks. And, um... You just dodge. I... I actually... Might... <laughs> this might be a bit controversial, I guess, but... I've, like, minus the having to waggle the Wii Remote endlessly to get the Soul Gauge up, I think I prefer the Alf Layla or Layla fight, because it's just, it's a lot more, there's a lot more spectacle going on, and it just, I, I just love, love how intense that fight is, uh, whereas this is still pretty good, but I don't think it's as interesting as that, and then the one in the HD version is just completely unique, so it feels... Feels like there's more of uh, this. It has more of its own identity than this. Um, but yeah, it's not. It's not a bad fight. I just feel like it's um, not the most unique. Not, not that it ne necessarily needs to, I guess. Um, but you know, it is what it is. It's perfectly fine as the like, a, a final boss. And the the Wii version has had a thing for having easier bosses in general, so that's no exception here. This is quite a bit easier than the HD one. And that's perfectly fine. I need to uh, I just wait here. And as long as I don't mess this up... This, yeah, the, the last... Two of these, since the rocks are like moving around and not just stationary, makes it a little bit difficult, but nothing too crazy. And that's all she wrote. S rank, hurrah! And now for the for the HD version and the ending of the game, finally. And now we have the HD version's final boss. Yeah, and this time. It starts off with a, a section that's kind of like Doomsday Zone, where you have to like collect rings, avoid giant boulders, and fail like it. Just so I, I like this part because like to oh yeah, it's like Doomsday Zone, and I mean that's a great final final boss. You have to avoid the attacks, and then. This is where, I mean, that already differs quite heavily from the Wii version, but th in this, there's this giant shield that Chip can just break through like that. And this music is incredible, by the way. Like, just like 06, they um, do an orchestra version of um, the main theme of the game, this time being Endless Possibility. And um, yeah, it is perfect. It's like, I love how, like, just, 
I, I, I love the um, idea of just making the final boss theme an orchest orchestrated version of the main theme in like an epic format or whatever. Um, it just... It just makes it super climactic and it fits the, uh, it just fits so well. But yeah, you need to take out these snakes while Chip is, uh, fighting Dark Guy head on. And he will, like, Dark Guy himself will try and attack you, um, when he has the chance. Like, he'll throw these fl the flame rocks at you. He'll send out giant lasers that you need to watch out for. Um, and, um, there is a time limit. Chip isn't going to be alive forever. He will, like, eventually get taken out, so you d Oh, yeah, like that. So, yeah, this... Um, you do need to be pretty quick. And, um... You're... You don't get any more rings, like... You need... You want to get as much... And as much of the rings as possible to get your... Li life bar up to max when you get to the shield part, because you can't heal yourself after this. And, uh... Neither will Chip, so... You gotta be quick, and you gotta be wary of his of Dark Guy's attacks, and um, yeah, that pretty much made that alone just makes this fight um, exponentially harder than in the Wii version because you don't have any time limit to speak of, and um, you can get rings in the. Uh, okay, there we go. That was almost really bad. You you can get rings in the. Um, in the boss, so you have no real risk of dying unless you're like just avoiding rings for whatever reason, or you just get hit a bunch of times, which is totally possible. Like, no shame in if that's the case, but either way, though, th this is a lot harder um, than the Wii version, and we end with a bunch of quick time events because, of course, we do. <laughs> Now, I, w I was saying earlier about how they could have, uh, like, mixed these, the two versions together here. They, they could very easily have this first section for the HD version and all that. And then it just transitions into the Wii versions fight. Uh, where you had to attack all the eyes and whatnot. But, eh. It's fine. And then you had to do this 60 times! <laughs> the fact that they have made this a thing. And then... PUNCH! I love that. So satisfying. And then the tran transitions into the final cutscene. Just go through the finger. Boop. Dead. And that's it. That's the end. Man, with, with uh, they did not, like, like, <laughs> they did not hold back with like the dark guy uh, uh, visuals. Good lord. And it's no closure for Eggman. Pleasant morning, wouldn't you say, Doctor? Good old sass, whatever is. 
I, I think his name in this game is like Sass something, which is perfect. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Good stuff. I think it's perfectly fine for Eggman to have some goofy moment moments like that, especially since this is the end of the game, so like, everything has been screwed over for him, so... Of course he's gonna <laughs> take a- make a ta like, cause a tantrum, like... <laughs> ah, the light reigns over darkness, and the world is returned to peace. It's simply a miracle. We've been saved by a miracle. I told you, didn't I? There was no way Sonic would let something like that happen. And right you were. Still, we cannot live without the night. We all must sleep. We all must rest. Darkness is a part of our world, just the same as light. It may be that the darkness has not been destroyed, but merely laid to rest. It grows strong over the eons, rises up, then is put to slumber by the light. Perhaps that is the true balance of dark and light Gaia. That balance may be the very will of the planet itself. Save the speech for later. We've got to get things ready for Sonic's coming home party! <sighs> God. Goodbye, chap. I love the- I appreciate the fact that they kept to this. Like, they- they didn't pull a shadow and bring him back. No, Chip's gone. He's not gonna come back in- in a future game outside of, like, cameos or what have you. That's all that- yeah, that's- that's it. Chip's gone. Uh, stay, staying in the core with Dark Guy and, uh, yeah. And it's all going full circle. He will, he does leave something behind though, which I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure that's the bounce bracelet from 06. At least it's, it might be, I, I'll have to, I'll have to look back at the 06 bounce bracelet design, but it's fairly similar, I'm, I'm pretty sure. And um, yeah, for some reason Sonic doesn't wear this in future games, like that would have been, or at least it could have been like an accessory or something you see as a cameo or something, but it's just forgotten, which is kind of sad. But yeah, that's Sonic Unleashed. Now, I don't want to do Final Thoughts just yet because we still have like a lot of uh, content to get through.
first off, I, I want to do the remaining side stuff in the Wii version that we can access. And then after that, I'll do all the remaining missions in the HD one. And then finally, we'll tackle the DLC. That being said, um, hope you guys enjoyed the main story run. Um, and I'll just let you guys enjoy the music and the credits. So I'll, I will see you guys next time for the Wii version side content. I'll see you guys then.
Friends. 